So like I say, let's get into it. So let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Taz from the Latte Library. Today I will be doing an unboxing of the Aluma Crate. This is the special edition box of the Saints and Scars in collaboration with Leva Dugo. Unlike the other boxes I have received in the past, this is a plain box. It's a huge freaking box, which is kind of how I expected all the boxes to be like. So this is huge, like actually huge. So I'm pretty freaking excited because obviously King of Scars, I only recently got into the Grishaverse, I think, December I started with Shadow and Bone and I loved it so I had to get this because like because I did have to unpack a few things before doing this because there was just lot, like lots of packaging like everything was wrapped up which was good but it's just easier to just unwrap it so this was the very first item I saw great impression you show a blanket. Okay, first we have a blanket with a fox on it. Actually, I think there's two foxes on it. The two foxes are in relation to Nikolai, just FYI. Next we have a mug. It says, one could plot violent espionage and still hope for dessert. Oh, if you've seen my other videos, you would know that I love marketing and branding. This mug has it. Seriously though, like how, like, how good is this? I love mugs. So getting a mug, I was pretty happy. Obviously, it's really fancy and nice and the branding, amazing. I love it. Okay, so I find this like, I see where they're going with it, but I find it so random. I feel like it's almost creepy looking. Like it's cute, but like borderline creepy. This is Nikolai. I don't know, like I think like it's cute, right? There's just something about it. It's like low-key creepy. But this is my first one and I have seen them in previous boxes, so yeah, still, still cute. And of course, the branding. This is a Nikolai Lancel calendar and oh, it's got like with artwork by in order on the back. Exclusive to Illumicrate, cover design by Fable and Black. Nice and simple, nice and colourful. The artwork's actually really good. And if you are a huge fan of him, he's on every single one. I wish they made a dark one. That would be amazing. <sighs> Coin pouch. Even says Illumicrate in the freaking in the freaking pouch. That's amazing. Honestly, I love I love branding. I love marketing. It's such a good idea. Okay, so I didn't unwrap everything. I haven't actually seen this yet. Oh. Oh, that feels so good. This fan says, I would make a magnificent queen. From Zoya. A lot of people hate her. I feel like after you read King of Scars, you'll start to understand why Zoya is the way she is. And I think as far as character development goes, she's had like the biggest change and it all makes sense. If that makes sense. It makes sense. I'm good with it. The best thing about this fan is that it's actually really good and in Australia it's really hot right now so it's uh useful. And this is the this is the first ever fan I've got in a book box and that and that's that's pretty special. And of course I saw it. It says a Luma crate on it as well. Like I just like people must think I'm crazy, but I think it's amazing. This whole branding situation, like put your name on everything, it's amazing because I will actually remember where I got it from. Like, it, it's just so useful. See, I tried to keep mine quiet, but I'm like, the microphone right there. <laughs> Next up is a candle, Ravkin Myths, and it smells of seaweed and juniper. That's such a random combination. I've never smelled a candle that smells like seaweed. I don't even know what juniper is, but it's got layers of color, which I think is really nice. It's like a sweet smell, nice and summery. <laughs> Not my favorite, however, I'm sure it's plenty of yours out there. Um, but the colors are really nice. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen these yet. Oh, frig. Oh, these are nice. Bookmarks. Really nice looking bookmarks. Anyway, my fave one is obviously going to be Nina. I love Nina. Nina is amazing. She's just, she's just perfect in my eyes. I absolutely love her. And I, ooh, and Alina. I feel like this is the Darkling, but it, it doesn't look like my version of the Darkling, so it's like hard to say, but it's still amazing. 
and I cannot wait to put these up on my wall behind me because the artwork is absolutely incredible. There is so much stuff in this box. I, I cannot believe that I still have items left. Like it's fully covering my desk. A few moments later. Pins. I'm like starting to appreciate pins a lot more. I don't have anything to put them on, but I'm starting to build up more of a collection. And these are so freaking beautiful. My favorite is the heart render because Nina. That's that's basically it. I love I love Nina so much, and I love that she's a heart render, and she's just she's just an amazing character. And these are designed by Fable and Black. Oh, they just look like such good quality. Holy crap! Socks. Oh. <laughs> these are some really nice socks. Holy crap! These are definitely the nicest socks I own right now. Holy crap! Like how, how nice are these? Do you see that? That's amazing. I love King of Scars so much. Holy crap. And they smell nice and new and clean. So much stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the, this is the info card about the design, what and where it came from. Oh, no, that's still not everything. Oh, this is a Saints and Scars challenge, a Lumicrate Grishaverse challenge. I've never done one of these challenges. I always think I should, like I, I think I want to, but then when it comes around to it, I just, I just don't. But it sounds really cool. And it's, it's, it's a really cool concept. And last but not least, we have this, this beautifulness, this loveliness. This is um, a letter from Lee Bardugo herself, which is pretty special because she is officially now in my top three favorite authors. That's it. Her writing is just so magical and her world building is like out of this world. It's just, ugh, love it. So we got a book sleeve, which is really cool. I have not received a book sleeve in any of the boxes I have received, so pretty awesome. And of course, it holds this beautiful thing. I will admit, this is my fourth copy of the book. I have the signed copy from Booktopia, one on my Kindle, my audiobook, and now this one, I preferred listening to it on the audiobook, to be honest, because the voice artist is amazing. And I feel like the way she voices the characters is how I imagine them to be. And it's just, I tend to feel the story more when I'm listening to it. And this is an exclusive hardcover and this is amazing. I love it. I love it. I feel like I, I can't say anything else. I love this. It's amazing. The artwork's amazing. It feels amazing. The colors work well together. It's just, it's just everything it should be. Holy crap. I freaking love her so much. And I love her, I love her stories. I really do. I just, I do not know how I did not come across her sooner in my life. And I have full regrets for it, but I'm so grateful for this box because it's just like catered to the fangirl and me for real. Okay, so that's everything. And that is a lot of stuff. This is definitely the biggest box I've ever ordered. And it was the most expensive box I've ever ordered. It doesn't help that the exchange rate between Australia and the UK and vice versa is like really crap. But holy crap, this it was worth it. If this wasn't the Saints and Scars box, I'm not sure if I would have ordered from them because of it is like really expensive. But because I love the Grisha verse so much, I just, I had to get it. And it's amazing. It, it's totally worth every cent. I love that it's just the one fandom box. Cause I feel like may, maybe it's just me, but I find them so hard to come by. Like I just want the one fandom because I know that I will love everything in it. And I have loved everything in this. I mean, I think my favorite thing would have to be the fan because one, Zoya. And I know lots of people hate Zoya, but like, she's just misunderstood. She's just like severely misunderstood. But this fan is so good and it's so pretty. And it's just like, <laughs> it's so useful considering it's really hot in Australia. So this is definitely my favorite. I mean, these are a really close second. Like a really close second. When it comes winter, these will be my favorite. So don't really wear socks during the day. But in winter, socks. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Next, I'll be doing a video, um, a very honest, very, very honest unboxing of the January YA Chronicles box. 
This book box company have a lot of mixed reviews. So I thought I would give it a shot and give my real honest opinion on it. So please like and subscribe so you can get a notification for when that goes up. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.